Very good day being able to get out and tour uh, three of these specific locations here in East Hartford. Forty years ago I graduated from what then was East Hartford High School and you could still see remnants of the walls and the glass and some of the, uh, some of the older, if you will, uh, less energy efficient uh, window air conditioning and so forth. Can't even begin to imagine the huge economic savings they'll have with heating and air conditioning for that particular site. In uh, 2014, I was able to secure $1.5 million for the refurbishing of the track and field for the uh, athletic facility. And Al Costa, the development director, facilities manager for the, for the town, has done a fantastic job with squeezing every nickel out of that project. So that will now have a, a synthetic turf field that is striped for both football and soccer. Uh, a new track that will accommodate uh, the track and field as well as some accommodations which were made for the what are referred to as the field events. So a lot of time and effort was put into that. I believe that they'll save a ton on maintenance because of the, that infrastructure improvement and it will be a, a hallmark uh, for the town of East Hartford and particularly for the kids and for the community. I always find that these athletic fields and these places of enjoyment bring the community together and really that's what's important for us here in East Hartford is making sure we have that community of people coming together here for us. And over here at Hockenham, they've reshifted the entire focus of this building, effectively have given up the, uh, the what, what we refer to as the everyday elementary school curriculum and now they have the, you know, a pre-K opportunity here, a school-based health center here. Uh, next gen educating will bring in adult edu education learners and, and mixing them with their families and so forth. Nate did a fantastic job walking us through each and every one of the components of that and I'm happy to be part of that. Us and myself and the rest of the delegation you know, we take a, an awful lot of pride in making sure that education is funded not only for the state but particularly here in East Hartford and uh, we're very proud of that.